Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 uh, Panini Revolution Basketball 8-Box. Pick your team number 14. Revo 14. Pick your team 14 right there. Remember, we mark that uh, when we open up the first master case. Break 13. So on a Friday, thanks for hanging out with us on a Friday. Jared, last spot mojo. Pacers who are up on the Golden State Warriors 105-95 with uh, 10 minutes left, 9 minutes left in the fourth quarter. All right, there it is, the revolution. The revolution will not be televised. It'll be live streaming on YouTube. Right here on this channel. All right, so there's all eight boxes right here. Boxes behind there. So let's pop these open. Let's see what we got. Good luck. Oh, that's right. Sean Black, Blackout, has the, got the Pelicans straight up in this break. So he's looking for a Zion, of course. We have not seen a Zion autograph. I've seen some Zion. Um, we've seen some Zion. Uh, what can we call it? Um, parallels. Plenty of parallels, plenty of rookie cards. Sorry, I blanked for a second there. No autos yet. I've been told that he's a redemption, If so we see redemptions. We've seen a lot of his teammate, Jackson Hayes, but no Zion redemption autographs. I guess he was busy getting ready for his debut. Hi, Mason. No, I'm afraid we're all, we're all done for the night. This is going to take us pretty close to the top of the hour. And then we've got a one-box break of National and Treasures Collegiate Basketball. And then that brings us to the end of the evening. But we'll be back tomorrow. Taco Fall. I mean, he, was, he looked good in Summer League, Stephen K. There's Brandon Clark, Impact to 149, and Julia Loco for Astro. He looked good in Summer League, but he hasn't really done as much in the NBA as, as, as much as I thought he would with, with the absence of Zion Williamson. But, but he's, got, he's, got, he's got some ceiling, I think. Maybe he just needs a couple years to marinate. Could be a buy low and hold candidate. Kevin Porter Jr., Fractal. We've got Mo Bamba, Groove. And the autograph is Brandon Clark for the Grizz. That'll be for Memphis. That goes to Zach Z and the Memphis Grizzlies. There's R.J. Barrett, Astro, and John Wall, Astro. And we've got an R.J. Barrett die cut. Nice. So a couple nice things here. we got the R.J. Barrett Knicks. Scott Freeman with that. Adam Loving saying small recommended. Yes. Well, that, that's why we have a $1,000 mixer up on the side, Adam. So hopefully that will help. There's R.J. Barrett. And there's LeBron James and Marcus All Groove. So the LeBron and his Lakers jersey are definitely have carry some weight. Yeah, Zach, we got a Brandon Clark autograph for the Memphis Grizzlies. And yes, this is box one. Here's box two. And pick your team 14. You should, you should expect a couple more autographs out of the remaining boxes. They're usually about three per inner case. It's really the, this is one of those sets where the, the parallels are a big chase.
Oh, full disclosure, I think most of you who bought in already already know this, but uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Galactic was pulled already in the first inner case. Uh, does anyone remember Blackout maybe, Sean? Do you remember what the Galactic was? Don't remember. I feel like it was a red team. All right. And not a rookie. There's Lori Markinen to 149 impact for the Bulls. That'll be for EA. There's D'Angelo Russell, Warriors, who are down 112 to 103. They're kind of keeping it close. Oh, it was D'Angelo Russell. Okay, there you go. So I was completely wrong. Not a red team. Michael Porter Jr., Astro. And a Lori Markinen begets a Lori Markinen. Lori Markinen on card autograph EA with both of those. LeBron Supernova, Dame Time Groove. There's Eric Pascal, Groove, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, I look for his teammate, NBA TV game being, got blacked out, come on NBA TV, sports ticker still working, oh there we're back, 112-103, six minutes left, there's Terry Rozier, Astro, Plus five and a half. I'd like them to score a little more points. All right, next box. Next one. Good luck. That's right, Jeremy. Thirty-three. EA and the Bulls. That's his usual, usual team when he joins a basketball break. Goga, go, go, Goga, Groove. We've got a cubic Ben Simmons, nice. 29 out of 50 for Josh Pruce and the Sixers. Nice shockwave insert. Looks pretty sharp. Dan Smith Jr., Astro. Jackson Hayes. Malcolm Brogdon Groove. Cody Martin. Astro for the Hornets. And Jordan Clarkson Astro. And nice Giannis Antetokounmpo. We have liftoff. That goes to the Bucks. That is going to be for... Josh Melton in Milwaukee. Nice John Morant and Tim Hardaway Jr. Fractal. John Morant going to Zach. Nice Fractal parallel. Not numbered, but still nice. All right, next box. Jeremy33 saying Ben Simmons underrated. Is he underrated? I 
feel like he's kind of rated right where I think he sh he is should be. Maybe he is underrated. He's a pretty good player. I think his his stuff still does well on a secondary market. His rookie stuff especially. Maybe he needs to. Hold on. Let me pause the video really quick. Let me get let let Nick back into the shop. All right. Welcome back, folks. Let Nick and the boss man back in the shop. We're just wrapping up last minute stuff for the uh, for the grand opening tomorrow. If you're around Saturday, the 25th, 11 to 8, come hang out. Lots of stuff going on. Yeah, his 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 well, his, his card game and and his game in general, I think, somewhat related. You think he's not respected in the NBA? Ben Simmons, quick thoughts. Oh, okay. Right, maybe Jeremy 33 is right. Nick kind of went. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have to shoot the three. Bradley Beals, 46 out of 50 cubic. Although that is a big part of the modern NBA. Louie with the Wizards. If he can, if he can work on that three game over the next X amount of years, and could be interesting. Bull Bull, Fractal for the Denver Nuggets, Greg with that one. CJ McCollum, Astro for the Trailblazers, Robert. We've got Kevin Durant, Groove for the Nets. And we've got RJ Barrett, Astro, nice. That's another one for uh, Scott Freeman and the Knicks. There you go, Scott. We got Zach Levine, Astro, RJ Barrett. That's a base rookie right there. And there's Sunburst, Trey Young, 49 out of 75, followed by a Terry Rozier groove. EA with the Hawks. All right, we are halfway through this eight box inner. Coming up after this will be our last box of NT Collegiate Basketball, our last box for the time being. We'll try to find some more. And then we're gonna call it a night. Adam, you, Adam likes these better than Prism? Yeah, I, I do like the Rev. I've warmed up to Revolution a lot. I think when this first came out a year or two ago, I think it felt kind of cluttery to me. I, or just, I just felt like there was just a lot of parallels. You know, but what I do, what helps, what helps a ton is that there's a nice pattern to these packs, like the, the parallels are always in the same spot. There's Zion liftoff die cut. And I once I started learning all the parallels, then I'm just like, oh, okay, these are actually kind of cool. I like the price point, definitely. And I think there's just a lot of, because the autographs are so few and far between, it makes like these die cuts and like this Impact cam reddish to 149. You know, it, it increases the value on parallels more than a lot of other sets. Zion die cut, of course, goes to Sean Black. That's Groove Nikola Jokic. There's Justin Robinson Groove. John Morant Shockwave. Huh? 
Al Horford Astro. And Hachimura, autograph for Louis. Nice on-card auto. You just need to get back on the court. I think there's a little bit of been a well, secondary market value-wise. I think he's dipped a wee bit. But I think that once uh, once he's back, I think he should be in good shape. There's Jordan Bad to the bone, Astro, Devin Booker, Groove. Astro, CJ McCollum. And three boxes to go. I really love the on card. Whenever you see an autograph, they're fewer and far between the autographs. But when you do see an autograph, generally it's a, a pretty solid autograph and B, they're all on card. So I, I think that's a nice little kind of, you know, cherry on top of this rig. I'm a fan. Looked better over the years. Okie doke. Good luck, Julius Randle. We got Mike Conley, Astro. Kelton Johnson, 43 out of 50. Cubic. That'll go to the Spurs. That'll be for Jared Denton. Well, there's an autograph coming up here. Westbrook, Supernova, Fractal, Aaron Gordon, Groove. By the way, all card ship. If I miss like a parallel or something, which I'm bound to do, if I miss like a parallel or something like that, just know that they are all shipping. Astro and the autograph is Nikola Jokic. Nice autograph for the Denver Nuggets. That will be for Greg McKinnon. Nice. And there's Mufondu. And Fractal Jamal Murray. I think he's out for a minute or two. Uh, no, Adam Prism's been out for a long while. I mean, as far as Panini stuff goes, you know, but I think they're they're one of the earlier earliest Panini product lines since they first entered the U.S. market from Europe. I think Revolution's only been out for a few years. I want to say. Prism, probably, probably since Panini first entered the U.S. market early on, whenever that was, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, longer, 20 years ago. But yeah, the popularity of Prism is certainly uh, just because, yeah, it has been around for a while. And it's a pretty solid brand. And probably one of their flagship products, right? Prism. I think you got to say that Prism Select Contenders, this is all Panini stuff, but Prism Select Contenders, Flawless, NT, and Immaculate. It's got to be... Um, has got to be like their their main sort of flagship products. 
while stuff like Revolution, while nice, I think could still be considered a sort of specialty product, you know, kind of a shorter print run. They don't make as many of these. There's Supernova Anthony Davis Cubic to 50. And there's Brandon Ingram Astro. It's kind of funny. They were traded for each other. So, yeah. You know, Prism popular because it grades well. That doesn't hurt. I don't know. That I don't know. Jackson Hayes, Groove. My assumption is that Jeff Teague Fractal. I don't know. My assumption would be that they kind of they probably balance out the product, right? All the top rookies tend to be from there. They probably grade well, I guess that's probably right. When people are like, hey, basketball, like what what are the top where do, where do you want the you know, when people talk about you know, the so and so rookie card, probably RPAs from NT, you know, Autos from Prism and Contenders, I think, would and Select even, would, would probably be the more com most common ones. Where like 10 years later, you're like, hey, who's got that Zion rookie auto? Generally, they'd be talking about Prism, Contenders, or, or RPAs if it's an RPA NT. All right, last box. Good luck. But Revolution is great in that those galactic case hits, you know what I mean? If you find a galactic case hit out of here, that sells well. These LeBron James sell well. So Revolution just adds, like, it's just a different, you know, different thing to collect. Nick Claxton, you're <laughs> into Adams. I'm just an old guy. I remember when cars weren't just run by Panini. Skybox and Upper Deck and stuff, it's weird now. Yeah, think of it like uh, think of it like uh, like cars, Adam. Um, you know, like all the smaller car companies get swallowed up by like the bigger car companies. You know what I mean? So like Chrysler owns like didn't they own Aston Martin for half a second? You know, so it's like it's like think of it as car big car conglomerates gobbling up like the smaller sort of sort of brands, car brands. Groove, Kawhi. So that's kind of that's kind of what's happened. There's Draymond Green, Astro, and then it's just kind of become something like there's Kobe White, Fractal. It's become something like where where Panini has just kind of evolved into being more of the basketball, football product, you know, and then Tops has become more of the more of the like. They're focusing on baseball product. They're the baseball guys. And there's a nice finish to this break, folks. Pick your team 14 in the books. Yeah, so that's kind of how everyone kind of has their lane now. Like Upper Deck is now the, the the premier hockey guys. So if you get, you know, hockey product from, from Upper Deck, you know, some of that stuff just goes for a zillion dollars. Like the Connor McDavid RPA from the cup hockey we pulled not too long ago. It has changed for sure, but you know we're just evolve. We have got we got to evolve with it. We're adjusting with it, and we can still have fun collecting in the hobby. More in the store, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. This is Joe. We'll break more with you next time. Bye bye.